Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're checking out NF Oh Lord. This is the next step in the NF journey. The last one was uh, grinding, and that one was hard. That was like a good workout song. And then before that was real, and that one was really, really real. That one was, ooh, ooh, that one was fire. So now I don't know what to expect. With NF, you never know. You never know if it's going to be a slower song. You never know if it's going to be a faster song. This one is called Oh Lord. So it's either going to be like slow uh, with a song like Oh Lord. It could be something that's uh, related to his Christian roots. Or it could be like, Oh Lord. And he's like going crazy. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just find out. I don't got nothing else to say. Appreciate y'all for watching. I don't even know what it is. Appreciate y'all. That's crazy. Appreciate y'all for watching. I can talk. That was the weirdest intro ever. <laughs> Sometimes I amaze myself at how weird I am. When I die, put my ashes in the trash bag. I don't care where they go. Don't waste your money on my gravestone. Mm. I'm more concerned about my soul. Okay, so this is definitely a slower song. We got Rihanna NF, and then he's talking about. I I kind of I agree with what he's saying. Uh, I have thought that before myself. I, I mean, when I'm dead, I ain't gonna be worrying about what y'all doing. As bad as mean as that is to say, uh, that's just the truth of the matter. So just do whatever makes you feel good, whatever gives you closure on the matter, and then just move on. I don't know if I take it as far as put me in a trash bag. Come on, you can at least put me in like a, I don't know, a fancy sock or something. Dude, you know, dude, you know what? Put me in like make a giant like y'all know there's like real country. Now I don't know if I, I don't know. I've been saying some real suspect stuff lately, but y'all know those real soft, uh, socks. They're like, uh, they're fuzzy and they're like, they, they're like the best things ever to wear in the winter. I don't care. You could be the manliest dude ever. I, you love those things. Don't you lie. Uh, but anyways, put me in one of those and I'm good. Everybody's going to die. Don't everybody live though. Sometimes I look up to the sky and wonder, do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Do you see us down here? Oh, low. This is smooth. Oh, low. Do you see us down here? Oh, low. Oh, low. Do you see us down here? Oh, low. Oh, low. Listen. Yeah, everybody wants change. Don't nobody want to change, though. Don't nobody want to pray. Tell they got something to pray for. Dude, that's so true. That's so true. People say, you know, a lot of the times, a lot of these songs that we have listened to where it's a Christian uh, questioning or having questions towards God, a lot of times they'll say, God, why aren't you answering my prayer? But the only time they have ever talked to God is when they needed help. So that, that's true. That's a lot of people's like that. Myself included. Honestly, I don't. Sometimes I find myself like sometimes like I'll I won't pray or do anything like that, and I should. I, I don't spend I don't spend enough time doing that kind of stuff, and I need to. But uh, but yeah, that's cool. And then uh, don't nobody want to change and all that stuff. That's true. Everybody wants to change, but nobody wants to put in the work to change. Myself included. I'm like that too. I. I, I've done went through 27 different body transformations, right? Just as an example. I When I was uh, real young, I, no joke, y'all might not believe me, but when I was real young, I weighed, uh, it was, I think it was two, 295, I think it was. It was 295, and I was 15 when I seen that. I weighed 295, and I was like, holy moly, 295. This is ridiculous. And so I went try hard to lose weight. I ended up getting down to 165, which is like, next. that was like too skinny. But I went to 165 because I got like addicted to losing weight. And <clears throat> then when I got to 165, I was like 165 through the rest of my teenage years. And then when I got to 20, 
I started gaining weight and this and that. And <laughs> now I'm at 200, but I'd like to go down to like about 180 or something like that. I think 180 is like the comfortable range for me. But anyways, like I, for example, I want to change that and it's hard to change. And there's different things about my personality. I'd like to change. Like one thing I have changed and I encourage a lot of people to change is, uh, I spent a lot of my life, uh, like I said, in previous videos, I'm 26. And one thing I've learned, uh, towards the, the more middle part of my twenties is that you can't please everybody. Like a lot of the time <clears throat> I've always been myself. But I've also, like, a lot of people has considered me, uh, I guess they've considered me, like, shy, or they've considered me, they've considered me, like, I, I, I don't know, I, I've tried, so, like, I try to be so careful with what I say to people, because I don't want to seem stupid, or I don't want to do anything like that, and I was like that for 90% of my life, and then once I got to about, I, really, I think it was about, like, 23 when I got to 23, I realized, okay, really, it don't even, like, I, I could do what I want to do. It, it doesn't even matter. And then I started being like, okay, be yourself. And then I started going hardcore being yourself. And I've been like that ever since. But anyways, uh, there, everybody wants to change, but nobody wants to work to change. And it does take a little leap. Uh, I know from the physical aspect, and I know from the uh, personality aspect. Don't nobody want to pray. Tell they got something to pray for. This one's like a very, uh, this one's like leaning a lot more towards, uh, uh, like a Christian song than I would have originally thought that NF would do. So I appreciate it. It's easy to blame God, but harder to fix things. We look in the skylight, why ain't you listening? Watching the news in our living rooms on the big screens and talking about a God's really real and where is he? You see the same mm. God that we're saying might not even exist becomes real to us, but only when we're dying in bed. When you're healthy, it's like we don't really care for him then. Leave me alone, God, I'll call you when I need you again. <laughs> That man just spoke so many facts right there. We got to listen to that again, just because, like, I mean, I don't even, that was like, that whole thing was like fire. How far back do we need to go? Let's just go all the way back. No, no, no. Let's go all the way here. Go back to the whole verse. It's easy to blame God, but harder to fix things. We look in the skylight, why ain't you listening? Watching the news in our living rooms on the big screens and talking about a God's really real and where is he? You see the same God that we're saying might not even exist becomes real to us, but only when we're dying in bed. When you're healthy, it's like we don't really care for him then. Leave me alone, God, I'll call you when I need you again. Which is funny, everyone who's sleeping appears to blame God for our problems like he's sleeping on you. We turn our backs on him, what are you expecting to do? It's hard to answer prayers when nobody's praying to you. I look around mm -hmm. at this world we walk on. It's a smack in the face. Don't ever tell me there's no God. And if there isn't, then what are we here for? And what are y'all doing down there? I don't know, Lord. Do you see Dude, this song is fire, bro. This is definitely, I would say this is a Christian song. I mean, uh, y'all, I mean, there, this is a, this is a Christian song right here. This could play on Christian radio. I, that's what I listen to Christian radio. If I heard this on the radio, it would fit in perfectly. I think this is a fan-made music video, like lyric video, by the way, because I couldn't find a uh, video. There was a fan-made music video, but I didn't want to watch that. I wanted to do the the lyrics. And uh, anyway, this is a this is a fire video. Whoever made this, shout out to you. This is this looks good. Do you see us down here, oh Lord? Can you see us down here, oh Lord? Oh Lord, oh Lord. Mm-hmm. 
That's it. Dude, I could have used at least three or four more verses. This is fire. Dude, who, who made this lyric video? Hold on. We got to give these. Is this? Yeah, this ain't even on his official channel, bro. Shout out to Pursu Pursuit of Music, bro. That was like very well done, bro. That was very well done. But anyways, back to the back to NF. That was uh that was uh I could have listened to at least three or four more verses. That was like one of those that's like so smooth to listen to and just enjoy. I love those types of songs. I, I don't know if it's because I'm so like ingrained in like Christian music and stuff like that, but I just love like the smooth sound and like just it's joyful but it's also saying like com like lyrics like good lyrics and then it's just like i don't know like like it just feels like you're that song's like one of those like you can listen to that song and be floating in like a pool somewhere or something like I, it's just i don't know that's a smooth song right there. uh so yeah i don't really got much to say about that obviously this wasn't a song where you really had to break down a lot of bars obviously this man can sing we've already discussed that the dude's fire at singing dude's got he spoke about a lot of facts people not wanting to change people not praying until things get rough and then they start praying and then they ask god where are you at when they haven't even talked to him and uh i don't know it's just uh this was a fire song i, I love nf like genuinely genuinely I, this is nf is becoming one of my favorite artists like y'all have been putting me on to some straight gas as the kids say some straight gas i've been picking up some of the 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 lingo uh the lit the fire and the gas and uh anything that's explosive and or flammable is is great it's fire I almost said it right there it's fire <laughs> but uh yeah thank you guys for watching uh i think i'm gonna start trying to release more uh bass covers uh i may I, i'm probably gonna start doing some more uh y'all may if y'all don't want to listen it's all good i completely understand but I, i'm gonna uh probably put out some more uh gospel music uh covers and kind of do some stuff kind of like i used to before i uh started doing reactions but then that's just going to be on top of the reactions i'm still going to do reactions every day and do like the same thing i'm doing now just th weave in some bass covers and then of course if we come across a good song like that would be fun to play on bass like fighter by tom mcdonald and stuff like that then i'll cover that too um and there's there's some hip-hop songs i, I want to I, I was listening to uh i was listening to some of lecrae's music uh because my brother was telling me to listen to uh i think it's called well what was it no, it's not welcome to him what was that song called uh it's lecrae and andy Minio, and the music video is them going through multiple rap albums like it's like they're recreating the covers um i forgot the name of that song but that song is crazy good and i started playing along with with it with my bass just goofing off and that was fun so i was thinking about doing a cover of that i don't know uh but anyways thank you guys for watching this song was really good this everything is pretty face values there ain't nothing to break down so this is really good appreciate you guys for watching see you in the next one peace <laughs>